Hello everybody, this is Amel with another interview preparation video for you and this time I'm going to explain to you how to solve this problem, the middle element of the linked list. So given a non-empty singly linked list with head node head, return the middle node of the list. So if there are two middle nodes, return the second middle node. Okay, so a linked list is a collection of nodes and every node has a pointer to the next node or a reference to the next node. So, for example, if they give you this list with five elements, the middle element that you have to return is three. In this case, you have six elements, so because the length is even, you have two middle elements, three and four, so they always want you to return the second middle element, which is four. So, how can we solve this? One way would be to uh, find the length of the list uh, for instance here 5 and divided by 2 and after we find the length of the list we go uh, we do another iteration to the length divided by 2 and that's going to give us the middle element but there's actually a better way and the better way is the slow pointer fast pointer technique the slow pointer technique and the slow and fast pointer technique is that you have two pointers initially at the beginning slow moves one step at a time, fast moves two steps at a time. So you're gonna say slow gets value slow that next and fast gets value fast that next that next. And then slow gets value slow that next and fast gets value fast that next that next. So what that means is that when fast gets to the end, the slow will always be at the middle element. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to write the code. So first, if the list is empty or if there's only one element in the list then I just return that if if the list is no return no if there's only one element return the first element then I'm gonna have two pointers slow points to whatever the head is pointing to and fast also points to what the head is pointing to so um, I'm saying pointers, but actually in Java, people prefer to say references, so references. So while fast is not equal to null, and fast.next is not equal to null. So we're going to iterate. Um, while these two conditions are true, that means that uh, this is going to handle the even case, and this is going to handle the odd case. For instance here, this is five, only five elements, so it's, it's odd case. So uh, fast at the end is going to be here. So fast that next is going to be equal to null. If we get there, then we break out of the loop. In this case, there are six elements, so fast will get to null, and we're going to break out of the loop. So this is going to handle the even case, and this is going to handle the odd case. So as I told you before, Every iteration, slow moves one step at a time. Slow gets value slow that next, and fast moves two steps at a time. Fast gets value fast that next, that next. And by the end of these iterations, we return slow. So let's check. As you can see, this is, uh, this is fine. I'm going to submit my solution. And this is working perfectly. It's one milliseconds faster than 82% of Java Online submissions for this problem. Uh, my name is Amel. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like the video. And see you next time. Happy coding.